Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor, where we're going to tackle the concept uh, of uh, zeros of polynomials, okay? So what we want to do is kind of paint the big picture about what we're doing here and crank through the math, and I think you'll understand pretty simply what's going on. Remember the concept of a polynomial. We talked about that uh, in the last section when we talked about quadratics. A polynomial in general is just a big giant word that means uh, you know, f of x is equal to in a long string of things, and, and you can have polynomials of different degrees, but all of them look the same in general. You'll have uh, something times x to the third, plus something times x squared, plus something times x, plus a constant. And you can have the higher, uh, highest ordered uh, power of x can be x to the fifth, or x to the sixth, or x to the twenty-seventh, or whatever. You can have as many powers of x in that polynomial as your little heart desires, but they're all going to be the sum of a number times x to the whatever ninth, plus something times x to the eighth, etc. So you have a bunch of terms there. That's called a polynomial, okay? Now the simplest polynomial, uh, well, the simplest polynomial other than a line uh, that we, we've talked about quite a bit is the quadratic, okay, which is just, a, just another fancy word that means a function, f of x, that has an x squared term in there. So you have an x squared. And we already talked about that the x squared just looks like a parabola, okay? Now where that parabola is located on the xy plane is just a, f a function of, of uh, what the actual function is. So it could be here or here or, or down, up and down, left and right, depending on exactly what the actual function is. But the general shape of it is going to look like the parabola that, that you already know and love, okay? so. Uh, remember, though, that when we were sketching these parabolas, it was very useful to know where they crossed the, uh, where they crossed the x-axis. So, like, if you can imagine an xy uh, plane here, the parabola is going to go down, it's going to come up, it's going to cut through the x-axis, and it's going to come up through the other side most of the time. And, uh, you know, if it comes down below like this, and so it's going to cross the x-axis uh, in some place, and it's very useful to know where those places are because it helps you graph them, okay? Now, we're gonna generalize here, and we're gonna say now for polynomials more complicated than a quadratic, okay? So you may have a x cubed term in there, or an x to the fourth power in there, or an x to the fifth, or an x to the sixth power, okay? The graph is going to look crazy. I mean, you'll see when you start plotting them on your calculator, but they'll cross the x-axis in certain places. And it's very useful to know where they cross the x-axis because it helps you sketch these things, okay? That's why we do this. So I'm going to introduce a new term, and uh, this new term is nothing more than, than, it's nothing complicated, it's just a new term for you to know, and that is called the zero of a polynomial. Uh, what it means is wherever the polynomial, whether it be a parabola or, or some cubic or whatever it is, wherever it crosses the x-axis, so here's your x-axis, Wherever these things cross the x-axis, those are called zeros. And I guess they call them that, zeros of the polynomial, because they cross at y uh, is equal to zero. So here's the y-axis here. They cross at y equals zero, so they call them zeros of the polynomial. So in your books, you'll be seeing uh, and be asked to find the zeros of this polynomial. What are the zeros of that polynomial? What's the zeros of this polynomial? And that's just a big fancy term. All it means is, where does this polynomial, this curve, cross the x-axis. That's all it's asking you to do. So in this section we're going to tackle those uh, concepts and we're going to learn how to find the zeros of polynomial, uh, polynomials of different degrees. And, and the degree is just simply uh, the largest power that you have there, x to the fourth, x to the fifth, whatever. Okay. So let's recall some stuff that we already know. I'm going to kind of recap here. The case of a simple quadratic. f of x, okay, let's say is equal to